Have you ever wanted to cut out vinyl letters or anything out of vinyl to make a decal or a sticker? Well, stick around and I'll show you how I do it on my CNC machine. This is some of the things you're going to need. This is a cutter head and it uh, fits on a silhouette vinyl cutting machine and it has a spinning uh, blade in it. Just like a regular uh, exacto blade type deal in it. And you can see it's hollow on the end. And what we're going to do is we'll take a dial like this. Now I had to taper this dial down a little bit to fit, but you want that to fit real tight. And, uh, and you can see that I've got it fitting in there real tight and push it on there. That blade only costs $15 at a vinyl store. The first thing we want to do, is we have to have an extremely flat surface. The surface has to be almost exactly flat with your CNC machine. So I've taken my CNC, CNC machine with a flat router bit or cutter bit, and we're going to level this whole thing out to it's perfectly level. This is very important because when you're trying to cut with this razor blade on this blade, you don't want any highs and lows because you'll be cutting too deep or you won't cut deep enough for the material to peel off. So this is a very, very important part of this process. Next, you're going to have to take your vinyl and you're going to have to measure the thickness. This is very, very important. Your vinyl has a backer piece on it, which is paper. And you don't want to cut down into that. So you're going to have to get your measurement. I'm sorry this is out of focus, but it's 0, zero it's point zero zero four of an inch, and that's what we're going to program into our CNC machine in our program. Now it's time for us to program, and you can see I'm using Carbide Create. I have a Carbide 3D uh, CNC machine, and this is what we're going to cut out. We're going to cut this shrimp out, and we're going to set up our tool path. Right here, we're gonna. I actually programmed in a tool that's uh, very, very small so that it thinks it's a very small cutter, and then we're gonna set our maximum depth of cut here at 0 0.004. Go ahead, do four. There you go. And then we're gonna go down here and we're gonna change the feed rate and plunge rate because. Uh, Cutting a vinyl with that swivel or that yeah that swivel cutter head, it can spin round and round, and uh, you can cut it a, a, a little bit faster than you would on that. And here I'm going to go ahead and set the maximum depth on this to 004, and look it all over, and we're ready to go. And here we're going to take our vinyl, and it's uh. We rolled it out and we're going to tape it to these, this surface and we're going to pull it real tight when we tape it. We'll start on one end, tape it down and then we're going to pull it to the other end. We want this very tight so it doesn't crinkle up when we're running the blade across it. So this is, this is how I do it and then like I say, then I'll pull it up, cut it off where it's got to be cut off and uh, tighten it as tight as I can get it. Now it's time to install our cutter head. Uh, we're going to take the dowel and the groove that is in your router. We're going to set this dowel in that groove and that will help hold it from moving. And we're just going to tape this thing in place with some uh, just some blue painters tape. And if you want to put a clamp around this you can do that. Uh, I just prefer putting tape on it because I can get it on and get it off pretty fast. And this needs to be pretty tight. So if you're going to use tape, you need to tape it really, really tight. The gold here is to get it to not move at the bottom. You don't want play in the bottom. You want to cut exactly what um, your program is telling it to cut. So you want it to cut this way. Here we're going to set the zero on our cutter head. You do it just like you would 
the, uh, the bits, your cutter bits. You just want it to come down until it grabs that piece of paper. And you'll see you wiggle it back and forth, and there it grabs it. And that's where I set my zero. Now if you've done everything right, you're ready to go. You've got your program set just like you would on any other project you would do except your maximum depth on the whole project is going to be the 004 or whatever your final thickness is. And there you go. Now this is always the fun part. They call it weeding. You weed out the portions that you don't want. And if it peels off like this, you've done it correctly. You still see the blue part on the background. That is the back of board that holds the, uh, the vinyl together. And like I say, if you've done it right, it peels off just this easy. Now I actually had to do a bunch of test pieces to actually to get this tuned in or dialed in to where I can do it as easy as I do it now. This piece right here is a 24 by 24 inch piece. Now if your piece is weeded, you're going to have to put application tape on it. This is what they call application tape or lifting tape. You have to tape all this stuff together so that you can peel it off the backer piece and then stick it on to what you want to stick it to your vinyl too. I do glass etching and this is how I do my patterns for glass etching. Uh, what you see in blue there now will be what I'll sample at. There you go. This is how you do it. I hope this little video has helped you out. And if uh, it has, give me a thumbs up and a like. And if you have any more questions about this procedure or how I did this, just comment in the comment section and I will get back to you. Thanks for watching.